Day two of the Women's Rugby League World Cup about to get underway. We are here at the Southern Cross Group Stadium. It's the big one, isn't it? It's England taking on the Gillaroos. We can't wait. Going to take you up to the commentary box. A real carnival atmosphere down here, I must add. Lots of people coming through the gates. Everyone's very excited. Let's take you up. Renee Gartner has gone to join the boys. Andrew Ryan and David Tapp. And here we go. Underway. Round two of pool matches in the Women's 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Chelsea Baker, the first player to see the football in this game. Well tackled. Now they advance the football beyond their own 30. Great tackle. That was Kezi Apps driving in with the left shoulder. Just about rocked the foundations here at this stadium. England, nice slick work with the ball beyond the halfway line now. Desperate tackle again by Kezi Apps. Well, hasn't she made her presence felt defensively during the early stages of this game? Now the clearing kick from England. Chelsea Baker makes a meal of it. England rushing. Well, Renee Gartner, that was heart attack material for the Gillaroos. That is tackle five, the kick towards the corner. It's a contest. It comes down to the Australians. And this is Isabel Kelly turning defence into attack. And she's into space too. But rounded up eventually by Forcell. Eight metres out, she'll play it back to Brittany Braley. Through the hands to Brigginshaw. She links up with Apps and Apps tackle just a couple of metres out. This will tell us a lot about the England attitude today. How hard they fight to defend their line. Isabel Kelly, I think you'll find, has got it down. Todd Smith will go to the video Kevin, referee. Tackle four. Try. Just confirm grounding, please. Thanks, mate. Just nice and slow once we get through this tackle. Vision on ball. She's got the ball. Two hands. Nice and slow. And freeze it when it hits the ground, mate, please, will you will, if you will. Keep going. Still got possession. Still got it. Still got it. And freeze it there. Thank you. That'll do. Go with the on-field decision, mate. Thanks, Gavin. Voice and video referee Shane Hayne. You heard him, you saw it. Try time. And Brittany Braley. Four cell, they go left. Backing themselves on the short side. Gaskin, the 25 year old who plays for St Helens. Now the hooker forward has a crack. Four cell. Tackled short. Across the line, tackled short the ruling. Got a change over just here. He's tackled another that plays domestically with Cronulla carrying bar. This is Meg Ward. She's down from the Northern Territory. Lovely work. Away to Brigginshaw. Here they go, the Gillaroos. It is Davis Welsh. The defence is coming. She got away from them. Davis Welsh is going to go all the way under the black dot. What a try, Australia. Meg Ward jumping out, ball in two hands, stepping through the offload. Brigginshaw pushing through. Great awareness. Davis Welsh. Booth coming across and the big palm. Fantastic try. Australia 8, England 0. And a simple one. The kick straight between the post and kicked into the southern grandstand for good measure. Oh. Brittany Braley. <laughs> Kelly. Isabel Kelly, who got the first try Last of this match, Get tackled a couple of metres out. Good defence by England. They need a massive sense of urgency here. Can ill afford to let the Gillaroos score again. Boot to ball by Ali Brigginshaw. Filled at the back by Jody Cunningham. Desperate to get back on the field of play. The Gillaroos too good on that occasion. Applying the blow torch, they'll get the football back with a repeat set. Rayleigh, will she have a go? No, she doesn't. Brigginshaw, nice pass out to Kelly. And now the Meg Ward, it was too easy. England running out of troops, not sliding, not reading numbers in defence. And the Gillaroos get try number three. Enjoyed 65% possession in this game. And over in the corner goes Meg Ward, 14-0. Thompson leading by example, the England captain. Some bruising hits on the Gillaroos. There's the apps been very effective on that left edge for the Gillaroos. She was held by Kirsty Maroney, the England halfback. Now the kick through, reasonably low trajectory, it has to be said. Bit of pressure, the chase from the Gillaroos is outstanding. It's been towed through. Another try coming up. Chelsea Baker will get the Australians' fourth try. 18-0. I was looking forward to a, a bigger game from the English side, but the lack of urgency, we've all mentioned it, has been the big, I guess, noticeable part of the English side. Moran, 
Brigginshaw to the line, looking to her outside, and links up with Kezi Abs. Abs gets away from them. Support in the shape of Kelly. More danger for England. Kelly for the line. Plenty of support, but wants to do it on her own. Four England ladies there in the end. Thwart her efforts. Across now to Eliana Walton. Eliana Walton in her first touch comes up with a four-pointer. She's been on the field, I don't think even 60 seconds. Not a bad way to make your presence felt, Renee. <laughs> Definitely not. I swear I was only just looking down at her warming up on the sideline and straight in onto the field and straight over for the four-pointer. Kezi Apps out on that left edge again, just pushing away. And Isabel Kelly, she could sense there was an opportunity on the inside, but good scramble from the English side. And you see Walton there just pulling back into position, holding a shape there. And as you said, Tappy, first touch. Wasn't she happy to? Big smile. Australia 22, England nil. And there it is. Flags in the air. For Sill. Open side. This is Sutcliffe and gives it away to Hoyle. And now out to Courtman. Finds the winger, Charlotte Booth, who couldn't handle the pressure of the Gillaroos. Bearing down on her. It was too much. Well, there was space out on the left edge there. But spoke earlier about the speed on the edges from the Gillaroos. It was a little two on one. Forget all about the scoreline. Come out in the second half and start the game. Kick over the top. And the Australian custodian, Nakia Davis-Welsh, has it. She's been good with limited opportunities. This time I've put the mocker on her big time. Out comes the ball. This is I say she's been seven, great. The complete. Nah. And now Australia straight into attacking zone through Davis-Welsh. I mean, a good game. Welsh, isn't she? Let she's go, not big, go. but very strong. We saw a score a try here on the opening day. She beat about four defenders. Here's Brigginshaw back on the inside to O'Mealy. And the support there in the shape of Eliana Walton, who got a try in the opening half. Across they come. Brigginshaw, too many troops. And Kezi Apps scoring for the Gillaroos. England defence on their own line, very poor. O'Mealy jumping out of acting half. Brigginshaw, short ball to basically an unmarked Kezi Apps. Another try to the Gillaroos. It's 28 points to nil. O'Mealy beyond the halfway line. Lost control of it. Taken by England's Faye Gaskin. And Faye Gaskin is tackled at the back by Davis Welsh. Now, here's the 15. Chantel Krause was really just jogging to the line. Runs 15 out from the line. The fullback Cunningham was there. They've got the short side England. A chance here. Nice work, but it was well read by the Gillaroos. Isabel Kelly making the tackle. Cunningham at acting half. First receiver is Forsell. Forsell under a wall of green and gold jerseys. Another massive opportunity for the Aussies. Eliana Walton tackled by Crowell. Can England hold them out? O'Mealy. A dummy then let it go to Moran. Brigginshaw onto the chest of Kezi Axe. And the sliding defence was there this time. Emily Rutsch leading the way in the crimson headgear. O'Mealy. O'Mealy has lost control of it. It comes out. And Sarah Dunn has it for England. It's 20 out from the England line. Round two of the 2017 Women's World Cup. Exclusive to the Seven Network. And here's Isabel Kelly for the line. Can she get there? England come from all over the park. And they do well to hold up the Australian left centre. Held up, tackle two. Number four to play the ball. Back. Nice, nice work by the, the Gillaroos halfback. Short ball now to Stephanie Hancock for the line. And Hancock so close. Stopped two blades of grass short. Yeah. Maybe even one blade of grass. Moran wants it and takes them on straight through. Caitlin Moran beats the fullback, all ends up. And she is thoroughly deserving of that try. Arguably the best Gillaro on the park in the second half. Great individual effort. 32 nil. Here's the replay. Right foot step again. It was on show on Wednesday. She beat Cunningham, all ends up. 
great try to the half. Australia 32, England nil. Plays a rugby league domestically at North Newcastle in the New South Wales Hunter Valley. And flags in the air. So the scoreline ticks over. Representing the country again with distinction. Moran to O'Mealy. They're letting the ball talk. Here's Isabel Kelly. To the fullback, she comes, Kelly. Oh, lovely work. She got the pass away to Talisha Quinn. Desperate defence by England. 4 sell. How did they not score? And Ward has a crack from acting half. What have you got there? Okay. Time off on four, Kevy. Have a try. Just check grounding and make sure she stayed in the field of play. Watch the ball, you watch your feet. Ball. Slow, slow, slow. Woo there, stop there. Hold it there, yep. Ball down. Can we get something from behind, mate, please? So the grounding of the ball's fine in the end goal. So there's the ball on knee. Knee. Do that, Lou. That's that's fine. Yeah, just would just yeah, that's fine, mate. We've got enough evidence there, mate. Uh, we'll go with the on-field decision. Try to Australia. And into acting half now is Heather Ballinger. In front of the England uprights. Gee, Moran had to get down low to accept that ball. They continue through the hands. Another try coming up. Well, she might have bounced it, in fact. Chelsea Baker. Yeah. Time off. Tackle four. Kevy. I've got no try. Can you just confirm she loses the ball? Right, she's got the ball and, yep, lost there. Just roll it on, mate, to see where that ball ends up. Just can let it roll. I think so, it got into touch. Okay, mate, stick with the on-field decision. We've got a 20 metre. So, the Jillaroos in their first two outings of this tournament piling on a stack of points. Huge win over the Cook Islands in the opening round. Okay, the train is asking the game to be stopped. And 38-0 at this point, with 90 seconds remaining in their second round clash.